here. Well, I mean, as you can tell, it's a JDM Monster Supercar Destroyer. It's a Honda Accord. High bar. <laughs> you know, for race. Yeah. Makes about 350 wheel horsepower before the nitrous. One from a Koenigsegg one. They're actually full carbon fiber, but I painted them because I don't, I don't like blood carbon fiber. But uh, yeah, they're pretty fast. These are actually uh, disc brakes that wrap all the way around the, the wheel. They kind of look like drum brakes, but they're they're carbon fiber uh, ceramics, I promise. Nice and uh, you know the bumper. Fucking drift car, you know? What can I say? <laughs> I couldn't afford zip ties. So I got some baling wire, and I just put it up in there, you know? Yeah. On the interior here, it's about like a 5% tin, so I'm like, people look at me while I get hit in my car. Yeah. Hold this steering wheel three out of a Formula One car. I find it, you know, it helps me take my turn to like, you know, Mach 1. And no power steering, because that's just adds weight. Arm day while I fucking drive this bitch around town. Yeah. Rams about 9,000 RPMs. You know, so it's pretty much an F1 car. It's pretty much 458 destroyer. Aftermarket fucking seatbelt thingy. I like to watch it. Sometimes I'll just sit here and just fucking just play with it. But, you know, I put these in and like I took the seatbelts out because weight reduction, so it doesn't actually do anything but move around, but I like to watch it, so I kept it. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna take Damon on the ride in the neck snapper. Just don't, don't mind this, this door here. That's aftermarket. It's actually a lot lighter than this stock. Seat belts, not that I, I don't use them actually, because I took seat belts out and installed that. Because I, I think it's cool. It makes the bitches wet. Fucking, he's like, oh, 
I got a fucking 1300 horsepower. I'm like, yeah, I don't give a shit. Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing tonight? This is Metal Rocks 12 here again with another car review. Tonight we're going to do the new Mitsubishi Nismo 3000 GT7. Equipped it with a brand new North Korean body kit. Amazing, amazing rotten pearl finish. And to top this off, the inside of here, there is one of the biggest, best engines known to man. The Chevy small block. Now this is a twin turbo engine, four carburetors, and about 3,000 horsepower to the front wheels, sir. To the front wheels, because that's the only place the power should ever be. The coolest thing about this car is that most cars don't have is, check this out. We're looking at not one, but two brake pedals. Now we looked here at the gear controller mechanism, which all cars of this uh, kind have. It's a very cool system. This is drive. This is neutral. This is seventh. And this is a new gear they have created called Zub Zero Gearing, which basically means your car does nothing. Brand new groom seats imported directly from Hapan. I believe that's how they say it over there. And, and because this is such a quick car, we of course need to have the radar detector to make sure that those um, cops can, can get us because this car does have VTEC. All right, now we're looking at the heart of the new Nismo 3000 GT9. And the first thing that comes to mind when you look at this is what engine is in here? Very simple. Very, very simple. It's the LS7 engine directly imported from Canada. This engine produces, is capable of producing 3,000 horsepower. Right now it's only tuned to about 2,200 for obvious reasons. The engine's actually shaped like a six. The V just represents the fact that it's 20 of six. It, it's, it's 26. It's, it's, it's a cool system they use to name it. It's pretty cool. Um, it's the, the way this engine works is this pipe is actually the exhaust pipe. What it does is it sends the exhaust to the tires. Here, this fluid we have in here came from a um, Corvette, actually. We took the fluid from a Corvette, and um, this doesn't come off, actually. <laughs> That's it. You better make the, sure um, it's just, this coolant never, ever comes out, ever. ever. Um, another very important thing about this car is that, I don't know if you have noticed already, we have literally the coolest chipstick ever. Look at this thing. What is this? Now we're looking down here at the brand new body kit that we imported directly from where, where did this come from North Korea that's right looks like an intercooler for turbos but no 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 this is actually a tomato slicer what you do is you, you, you roll to around 30 miles an hour you pick a friend any friend your best friend if you will and you have them throw tomatoes in the front of the car it slices the tomatoes with these little uh, slicey things you see here. And what happens is they actually are redirected using the exhaust of the car to the inside of the car in a little tray where you can make or eat fresh tomatoes. Make you make yourself some salsa, put it on some burgers. I, I like tacos, tomato, I don't know, but I'm Spanish, so that's a little different. You know what I mean? Everyone has a different story. If you're Asian, you might want to put some broccoli in it. That's, if that's what they eat, I'm not sure. Um, and that's actually one of the coolest features about this car is the tomato slicer. Is that an option for guacamole? Avocado? Oh no, it does it all, sir. Okay. Uh, no coconuts though, it's too hard. Okay. No problem. All right, guys, now to my favorite part about this car. Now we all know me. I love my VTEC, so it's only Acura Mitsubishi for me. But this Mitsubishi here, though, is amazing. All right. This is literally, even though I love my Civics and my um, Camaros, to tell you the truth though, this has to be one of my favorite cars of all time because of this body kit. This is called the Evil Pumpkin Rear End. Um, and also, it, right now I'm going to explain to you the best part about about the um, all right, about the best part about the tomato slicer function. Okay, let's say you don't want tomatoes. Screw it. Let's say you want to have a healthy day, and all you want is a nice little tomato juice. You know, those nice antioxidants. A little. It tastes good. It just tastes good. Maybe like a Bloody Mary. I don't care. Right? See these little holes right here? Put a cup underneath. Let the car idle. Tomato juice flows through, and you have a nice, crisp, extremely delicious tasting tomato juice that only you can only get from the 2000 GT3. Nismo edition, of course. Yo, this is Jake Duffner. I got the new uh, 2015 IS300 Toyota. Pushing like 550 horsepower to the back wheels. Shit's a classy dip, as you can see. It's like an extra 5 horsepower. Uh, I got the 10 out of 10 interior. The manual transmission right here. That shit's fly as hell. So it's a manual? Yeah, bro, that shit. 
that shit eats on first gear. Damn. Damn. That's Tad. Tad, let me pop the hood for you guys. That little treat's under there. I got four turbos in that bitch. Four? Four of them, bro. Damn. You don't want to fuck with me on the highway. You can't see my, my turbos because they're, they're underneath. All that shit. I don't feel like taking apart my engine bay for you guys. But yeah, this is the, the secret weapon R intake. That's like an extra like 50 horsepower. Get max airflow. Got rainbow headers. That shit's fly as hell. This is the VTEC. You don't want to fuck with the VTEC. That shit eats. One time Damn. I fucked up a Far Ferrari Enzo. Oh. A, a fucking Ferrari, Enzo? A fucking Ferrari Enzo, bro. Holy shit. Don't fuck with it. Fucking 2015 IS 300, bro. Damn. That Enzo didn't know what hit him, bro. He didn't start going till like, I was like 10 or 15 car lengths, but he wasn't catching up anyways. Let me pop That's a my... lot of car lengths. Didn't matter, bro. I took off way... I took off four and he couldn't catch me. I got the weight reduction back here. It's like, look at that. Boof. Oh, damn. Took the whole fucking thing out. Oh, I see you. In case you guys didn't know, every 100 pounds is an extra 7 horsepower. I took about like 300, 400 pounds out here with that spare tire. That's like an extra like 200 horsepower. I got my detailer just in case I want to be fresh. Meet some some guys over at like Bum Rogers or something. Do you don't want to fuck with me, bro? The antenna's not here. It's for that's for uh, aerodynamics. Took that shit off real quick. Got vented side skirts right here for max airflow. More aerodynamics. <clears throat> right there, that's from going too fast. Oh yeah. Took off way too quick. How much is this thing pushing? I told you, man, like 400, 500 horsepower straight to the back wheels. To the back, yeah, nice. It's not all-wheel drive yet. Yeah, uh, you got plans for it? What's the plans? I'm, I'm making, I'm, I'm GTE swapping it, and I wanna get the six-speed transmission, push like 5,000 horsepower, put like a jet motor in it. You know, it's gonna be a fucking drag car. Nobody's gonna stop me. Damn, that's nice. Alright bro, thanks for sharing your car. No problem bro. Just I didn't want to show you too much under the hood. I don't want to release all my info, you know? Yeah, for you. Just in case one of you one of you guys wanna fucking see me on the highway. Showing you real quick for pink slips. You know what I'm saying? Pinks, damn. Don't fuck around. Or thank you.